Hi, I'm Karen. I'm one of the science facilitators here at Science World. And today we're going to be talking about the scientific properties of balloons. So what I have in front of me are two very common household items. We've got baking soda and plain white vinegar. And we're going to be making a chemical reaction with these two uh, items to create carbon dioxide. And then we're going to observe the physical properties of carbon dioxide as we extinguish a flame with it. So what I have in my handy Erlenmeyer flask is about 60 milliliters of white vinegar, and I'm going to pour this into a bottle. All right. And then I've placed a scoop of baking soda in a balloon. What I'm going to do is put the balloon neck right over the neck of the bottle. And right now you can see that it's uh, over to the side, so the baking soda isn't going into the vinegar, so no chemical reaction is happening right now. But as we tip it over and the baking soda falls in, you can see that carbon dioxide is being produced and it's blowing up the balloon. So the next step of our experiment is to pinch the balloon, take it off of the bottle and trap this carbon dioxide and observe one of the physical properties of carbon dioxide. And that is that it can put out a flame. A flame needs oxygen to be able to, uh, to stay uh, inflate, or <laughs> to be able to uh, still be a flame. Um, needs oxygen to survive. So when we push all of the oxygen away and it only has carbon dioxide in its air, you'll see that the flame goes out. And it only took a very small amount of carbon dioxide to do that. And this is actually how some fire extinguishers work.